John Eats Cheap with another, this is a Midwest and Iowa favorite, the deep fried breaded pork tenderloin. These are legendary and they seem to get bigger and bigger as the years go by and available almost everywhere. There are a lot of great ones. I mean, there's not really any bad ones. Don't get those ones, the little four pack, the pork fritters at the grocery store, horrible. This is the way you can make them. I used to work in a restaurant. First, one of my first jobs, I worked in a restaurant and we had really good big breaded tenderloins. I'm going to show you how you make them. It's really easy with Johnny's Cheap. So these are, I got these at Fairway. These are already tenderized pork loin slices, 88 cents each. So that's very affordable. You could also do your own. I'm going to, uh, going to just sprinkle a little salt and a little pepper. You could put a lot of seasoning on it. I don't like a lot of seasoning on these because I put, you know, ketchup or not ketchup, never ketchup, mustard, onions, and pickles on them but like some cookies flavor enhancer, a little seasoned salt would be good. I'm just gonna do these with a little salt and pepper. And then we're gonna, we're gonna thin them out and bread them up. So here's the way you bread the pork tenderloin. Just a little bit of flour. I have an egg wash of an egg with a little bit of water and then just whisk that up. And one sleeve of saltine crackers and we're just gonna get these crumbled up. You could, do it in a food processor or a blender or just use, you know, a rolling pin. Roll them out, crush them. Good bread. So there's our sleeve of crackers all crushed up, finely crumbled, and that's going to be our breading for our tenderloins. So we start out, we take the tenderized pork loin, just in a little flour. Just to coat it a little. This is so the egg wash will stick. Into the egg wash. And then into the cracker crumbs. And we're just gonna coat it on there really well. You could also use, you know, there's frying magic. I like that and the, the bacon magic or bacon miracle. You could use uh, panko bread crumbs. Any kind of breadcrumbs, but these are this is the way we did it in the restaurant way back when. So now that we have it like that, we're gonna put it on here. And we're gonna roll it out a little with the rolling pin, just to get it a little thinner and get that breading in there. See how much that rolled out? Now we'll add a little more breading on top, the cracker crumbs. Flip it over and rolling pin again. And that's how you get the big, see, that's how that pork loin gets out into a great big old piece, just like that. Get some more cracker crumbs on there. And you could run it through the egg wash again just to make it stick a little bit more. I think we probably even did that. I think we went in the egg wash twice. But for these, I'm just gonna do it like this. Whoa, look at that. And I got oil heating up to fry these bad boys and it doesn't take long because they're thin. There you go. That is ready to be a deep fried pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin number two. And the great thing is these are called tenderloins. This isn't actually the tenderloin, it's the loin. Tenderized, because if it was the pork tenderloin, they would be much smaller. But anyway, see how much bigger those get? Look at that, and it's still a pretty thick piece of meat. And you could do these ahead of time. You could do 10 or 12 of these and freeze them just like this and they're ready to go. They cook from frozen very well. I'm ready to get, get one in the oil. Let's cook a pork tenderloin deep fried. It's gonna fill up the pan. In she goes to the hot oil. I don't know the temperature, it's just enough to cook it, right? I'm gonna heat up some buns too. Look at this, I got, I'm using hoagie rolls because that's what we have. We got two of them left, one for me, one for Mrs. Cheap. I'm just gonna do these in the air fryer for like one minute. And that's it. 
We're frying deep fried tenderloin. You know, I gotta say, the last time I made these was a long time ago. I think I was I was working at a restaurant. I was like 14 or 15. I was a dishwasher, but I loved to cook. So they say, sure, go ahead, cook some stuff. And that's when I learned how to do all this. I was working. I would I would go to football practice twice a day. I was detasseling corn, I was working at the restaurant, I was working all the time, and I, I was tired as heck, but I loved it, and I learned a lot. I became the person I am today to learn to do stuff like this and love it. And it's also why you have two new knees and a hip. Yeah, that's true, that's true. I got a lot of new body parts, and I don't have near as many parts as I had back then. I've gotten some new ones and gotten a bunch taken out. I'm gonna flip that, oh. That is looking nice. Our bun, our timer's gonna go off in the air fryer, just heating up these hoagie rolls, because that's what we got. But also the tenderloins will look huge with these too. That'll be great. I don't know what Mrs. Cheap is gonna have. Oh yeah, I got another one. And the next one's even bigger. By the way, speaking of deep fried breaded tenderloins, a shout out to my buddy Big Al from Big Al's Barbecue in Adel and Des Moines. They do a smoked breaded pork tenderloin. They smoke the pork loin, then pound it out and bread it and deep fry it. It's like nothing you've had before. Great stuff. And let me also mention uh, Brick Street Market in Bondurant, Market and Cafe, they do a tenderloin like no others. They do it thick and they season it and bread it. Really, really good. Those are two of my favorites. We're almost done. I want to do one more shout out. I just thought of. They supply a lot of restaurants in Iowa. Uh, Northcote Meats in Melcher, Dallas. It's a local locker, and they do breaded tenderloins that they serve to a lot of restaurants and bars. And those are fantastic. We've gotten those. You buy them like by the dozen. Frozen, awesome. And different sizes too. I will say too, as we're almost to golden fried perfect, uh, this works great for chicken breasts too. Just kind of pound them out thin a little bit like this, and you get a great big chicken fried chicken, right? And there we are, a deep fried pork tenderloin, golden fried goodness. Yeah, look at that, it's even shaped like a pig or the state of Iowa or something, isn't it? It is. So here's what we do on the tenderloin. I love mine with mustard, pickles, and onions, and lots of it. And this is my homemade Sweezy's Relish. We have, we have a video for this on how to make it. And I'm, I'm gonna put it on both buns. And lots of mustard, too. Oh, tenderloins are so good with all these. Little extra mustard. And then when we get the tenderloin on here, of course, we're gonna have to add some more mustard because it's gonna overlap. So there we are. This is the rule of a deep fried tenderloin, right? It has to be a lot bigger than the bun. And I think that qualifies. You add a little mustard on the outside to cover those areas, come on. And there we go. Cut that baby in half. I don't usually cut in half. This is just for display purposes. I usually dive right in. Or you can cut that off and make it double on top, but I'm gonna eat it just like this. Perfect. Homemade, deep fried, Iowa tenderloin. This is what I was talking about. Just cut those edges off. Now you got a double. Look at that. That's some good eating right there. Hey, make sure you subscribe to John Eats Cheap YouTube or on Facebook or on Instagram. Click on the bell so you get notifications. We do two videos a week at least. And I like to think it's all really good tasty food. We also take suggestions. Let us know if you something you want us to try or do a copycat of. We love doing that with John Eats Cheap. Mrs. Cheeks tenderloin is almost done. I gotta get back to work.